Let's hear it for Coach Dick Sheridan. It was just over a year and a half ago that Coach Dick Sheridan was back at Carter-Finley Stadium to be honored for his selection into the College Football Hall of Fame. In 15 years as a college coach, Sheridan won 69% of his games with a winning record in 13 of those 15 seasons. He came to NC State in December of 1985, inheriting a program that had just finished three and eight for three straight seasons. The thing about Coach Sheridan, he had a plan. He knew that plan would work and he was not going to deviate from it. He came here and Clemson was on top of the world and they were top 10 program. Danny Ford, great team, great players. Coach Sheridan beat them three straight years. He was six and one against Carolina, which all our fans love and appreciate him. The success of a coach is measured by wins and losses, but the impact of a coach reaches far beyond. Whether you played for him, worked on his staff, or one of his friends, Dick Sheridan taught you something that has no expiration date. Be where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there, and do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and that's one thing that uh, I remember, and be fair, you may not can treat everybody the same because everybody is not the same, they're different, but you can be fair with everybody. I always go back to people's character, you know, because that's, you know, who are they when nobody's watching and nobody's looking? And I think Coach is one of those ones that, you know, he has a consistent character about him. And I think that's what, uh, you know, I respected about him being such a young kid, you know, 18, 19 years old. It was someone that you could truly look up to because you knew what you see is what you got. I love the man. Uh, he had the highest ideals. Uh, he stands for the right things, always has and always will. He's the kind of guy that you want your son to play for. Many sons played for Coach Sheridan, and together they created many memorable moments. There could have been more had his coaching career not ended in 1993 due to health issues. You know, it's just a shame that health-wise, he wasn't in a position to coach 10 more years or 15 or 20 or whatever. If he'd have stayed in coaching, not gotten out of coaching, he'd be remembered now as one of the greatest coaches of all time in college football. And in my opinion, he is one of the greatest coaches of all time in college football. It's a Hall of Fame career to remember, a legacy left by someone who was more than a coach. Many are saddened by the passing of Dick Sheridan, just one month shy of his 82nd birthday.